This is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Precious Metal Summit 2019 in Beaver Creek, Colorado. With me right now is Nick Erner from Alkane Resources. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, ALK on the ASX and ANLKY in the U.S. Nick, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks, Robert. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you on. So for our audience, let's start off with an overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. We're an Australian listed company, as you said. We're a gold producer with a mine in New South Wales, a state uh, that Sydney's in, in, in Australia. We also have exploration tenements there, and we have investments in other gold development projects in Western Australia. So let's get a history of the company. When did it start, and how did you develop to where you're currently at today? We were actually first incorporated in 1969, and we listed on the ASX in the early 1980s. And we've been active in exploration for all kinds of commodities across the period of time. And from 1995 to about 2005, we ran a gold mine in New South Wales near where our current one is. That's in around the Dubbo Orange region, which is near where Katia is, that people, Newcrest, that people may recognise. And then um, we've also developed a large polymetallic rare earth and zirconium ore body, which is we're, we're probably more well known for. I do a lot of international media on, on that, and people may have, some of your viewers may have seen me talking about that rare earth project. And then we discovered these, you know, tenements, uh, prospects through the 2000s, and we bought this current gold mine into production in 2013 with our first gold in 2014. Been an open cut mine since then and going underground right now. So what, what about the company makes you unique when compared to some of your peers out there? I don't think that we're particularly unique being a gold producer in Australia. I think for us, we have quite a sizable exploration package right, right adjacent to us. So at the moment, you know, we've released an exploration target of um, you know, 15 million tonnes to 25 million tonnes at, you know, in the mid one grams up to sort of the low two grams per tonne open cut underground target to the south they can go in and feed right so quite a quite a big pipeline of exploration to go in and feed an existing producing and established mill that's it's a bit different right for for a small market cap company our market cap is you know circa 250 million australian at, at present and um i think the other thing about that is we also have exploration targets quite a lot through the region having been there for so long and that includes a pretty significant porphyry target of a of Acadia style. You know, we've got an intercept there on that particular thing of 500 metres at uh, just under half a gram and 0.2% copper, right? People, people, a lot of other people don't don't have that. So I think it's our ground holding. I think it's our cash in bank. We actually have um, 80 million Australian of cash in investments at the end of the June quarter. I think that's what would make us unique in, in people of our market cap size, yeah. So you also mentioned your background a little bit in, the, in, yeah. in one of your earlier answers, but yeah. you know, what is the full background and, and how did you end up coming to work at Alcane? For myself, yes, I'm, I've been 25 years in the mining business. I'm a chemical engineer, which is a little bit strange in Australia. People tend to be either mining engineers or geologists running mining companies. I came through the CRA, which then became Rio Tinto, and spent a big block of time working for Western Mining, which was taken up by BHP at Olympic Dam, running uh, sections of that process there. And then I guess, um, like, like many people, the higher you get in management, you get promoted for, for different reasons. Um, you, you end up taking over more and more. In my case, I was taking over the mining side of the business in addition to all the processing, you know, marketing, sales. So I joined Alcane six years ago um, as we developed the gold project and then became the managing director two years ago. And our previous managing director, Ian Chalmers, incredibly well-respected geologist in Australia, is still our technical director. And he's, you know, been the, both the soul of the company and also the architect of building such tremendous geological resources for the company. And then from what you can tell me, what are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of 2019 going into 2020? So we should declare our main resource on that exploration stuff I talked about to the south. That'll be before Christmas. That'll be out as an inferred resource. Um, so I think that'll be a catalyst. A lot of people say, oh, you're a small underground miner. There's not much future left. But when they see that, they'll think, hang on a minute. And they'll, be, they'll be forced to rethink about it. That's, that's one big catalyst. Um, the second is that we have other drilling that will be coming in the coming financial year, coming calendar year, uh, on some of the ten other tenements that I mentioned, and they're pretty exciting tenements, so we'll see that adding value. 
And as well as that, we continue to be pretty active in the mergers and acquisitions space in the gold junior sector, junior developer space. So people will see activity in that that should be value catalyst as well. So three fronts. And Nick, where can our audience go and find more information about Alcane? Well, they should go to our website. That's Alcane, A-L-K-A-N-E dot com dot A-U. It's a very comprehensive website, a lot of information there. My name is Robert Kraft, and I'm coming to you live on SNN Live, and we're at the Precious Metal Summit 2019 in Beaver Creek, Colorado. With me again has been Nick Erner from Alkane Resources, publicly traded company. Two symbols for you, A-L-K on the A-S-X and A-N-L-K-Y in the U-S. Nick, thank you for joining me today. Thanks, Robert. Much appreciated.